use regular updates on its website to warn British nationals about the potential threats abroad when they travel. Now at this stage, the latest advisory is warning British nationals to be vigilant in South Africa. The government here is giving few other details at this moment, but says that in this notice, terrorists are likely to carry out attacks in South Africa. They're saying that these could be indiscriminate and could target places visited by foreigners like shopping malls. The statement does mention that two British South African dual national were kidnapped earlier this month and it goes on to warn that the main threat is posed by extremists linked to the Islamic State group or Daesh. It cites reports of South Africans travelling to Syria, Iraq and Libya and fighting with IS and then posing a danger when they return. Now that's a problem that the UK and other European countries have been grappling with for some time with their citizens. Well, Chris Van Dome from the Chatham House think tank here in London says that it's not the first time South Africa has been linked to terror activity in the Middle East, but that it's really not something that should put tourists off. Most visits to South Africa um, are finding and, and go um, peacefully. We, there are about 400,000 British visitors to South Africa every year. But that's not to say that British visitors shouldn't be wary. There are problems of organised crime. There have been reports of visitors being followed from South African airports and uh, robbed or hijacked on their way. And so this is a country that does have a um, uh, high level of crime and criminality and uh, organised crime as well, which is something I think that some of these terrorist organisations will tap into in those organised crime networks. But it's not something that should um, deter people from visiting the country, but they should be wary on travelling there. It's important to say that the Foreign Office isn't telling people not to go to South Africa, but merely they should be careful. The FCO's website has even more strongly worded travel warnings uh, for countries that are very popular with British tourists, including the United States and France. This latest advice stresses that UK interests and nationals face a heightened threat globally. The Foreign Office is also praising South African authorities for disrupting several planned attacks and making several arrests related to terror offences. Paul Barber, SABC News, London. Back home, safety, security and liaison MEC Pat Ngoman and SAPS Provincial Commissioner Mondi Zuma are visiting the family of the two children whose bodies were found this week following their disappearance a few weeks ago. And our reporter Spongile Mkani Mpolweni is there covering the story for us. Let's cross live to her right now. Spongile, a very good uh, morning to you. Do tell us the, the very latest uh, in relation to the bodies being recovered. Have they been uh, properly identified at this stage? <coughs> Uh, good morning. Yes, Alicia, we are at the family where a, a prayer was held this morning where uh, MEC for Community Safety, Pat Ngomane, the uh, Provincial Commissioner, Babu Mondi, uh, Zuma, as well as uh, the Mayor of uh, Malatene, as well as the MEC for uh, Human Settlements, are here talking to the family, but we, when, we when we were reporting earlier on, we reported about the bodies that were found and that the family went to identify the bodies at the mortuary during the week at the police station here in Whitbank. But we were told that there would be DNA samples that would be taken from the family to clearly identify the, 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 the bodies if they are indeed those of their children. But I have with me the general to just tell us what has happened with that process. General, DNA samples have been taken from the family to, to check the, the, the bodies. What are we waiting for now? Where are we? Uh, we are at the stage where the forensic science laboratory is processing the DNA samples and as soon as they get the results, we will inform the family accordingly. We had to do that because uh, uh, one of the body was dismembered and uh, to the extent uh, the other one was also uh, in the level of decomposition. So therefore we had to do all those things to ascertain the identity of the victims. I understand that since the, the, this kidnapping happened here, your police officers have not slept at the scene on the day they were recovering the body of the one-year-old. One of the detectives working on the case, who was a woman and I, I, I assume is a mother, was crying, was in tears, telling us about what they discovered about the little girl, the 12-year-old, as you're saying that the body was dismantled. Uh, just the, on the side of the police, how much work have they put in here? 
we have been working around the clock uh, trying to make sure that we uh, find the culprits. We happen to uh, arrest one suspect and uh, the others are on the run and uh, we are on their tracks. Uh, at this stage, uh, obviously, uh, police are human beings. They get affected by this kind of uh, uh, heinous crimes. Uh, our sources are telling us that the person that has been arrested is from Swaziland and that person is a Sangoma. Do, do you as police suspect multi killings? Well, at this stage, it is premature to uh, uh, go to that extent. What we know is the uh, criminal uh, activity has been recovered uh, to be the issue. But uh, the person that has been arrested, obviously, as a matter of fact, is uh, Sangoma Onyanga, but we cannot say for certain that uh, it was for multi or it was for criminality. Another one, uh, uh, General, the, 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 the two children that were kidnapped here, one is a, a, has albinism and the other one doesn't have albinism. And we understand that the criminals were targeting both kids who, are, who have albinism. And we know that the one that is left here, why has this child not been taken to safety by the police, the one, the one year old that has albinism that is here at home? Well, uh, we, we do not have such responsibility as the police. Uh, maybe other departments may come to play, but uh, our responsibility is to make sure that we protect the community in general, irrespective of whether they've got this particular uh, kind of uh, uh, texture or condition uh, or not. So we protect everybody um, to move a family to a, a particular area, uh, I think is something that the government may consider uh, at, uh, through other departments that are relevant. And in terms of the Sangoma that has been arrested, I understand he was denied bail. What are the, what, when, he, when is he appearing again in court and will we expect more charges? When we spoke earlier on with the police, they said that they are doing more investigations and more people might be arrested. Are we anywhere near that? Yes, uh, we are coming closer to the conclusion of the case. We, uh, we are interacting with the NPA, the prosecution authority, uh, and more charges may be uh, preferred against the suspects. Thank you. That was General Mondi uh, Zuma from the police detectives here. I, I think, uh, Alicia, we, when we were reporting this case, we reported about the family, about the incident, about the criminality of it, and we forgot to give credit to the police uh, women and men who have manning this case. From day one when we came into this house, there were police around this area, mm -hmm. and they were aware of this case. We met some police uh, with vans asking for information in the community. So uh, we just just giving credit to them, but we have MEC for Community Safety right here. He just came, Mr. Um, Pet Ngomane. Uh, um, MEC, <laughs> what is the latest? No, the latest, uh, as you 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 heard, uh, that. Uh, 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 there, there are people who are arrested, as uh, uh, General Zuma has indicated. Uh, but we are here to commend the community here and the police for the work well done. And all stakeholders, the way they, they are supporting uh, the, this family, we think if things are going to work, continue the way they are unveiling, we are going to have a lot of uh, achievement in this particular uh, community. I know your department when it comes to these issues like last year you were lending a hand in terms of funeral arrangement not to put you on the spot here but is your department going to help this time around? No, we cannot say that. As we have indicated, that uh, we are having a committee which is going to be housed in the in the in the municipality with the mayor, and uh, we indicated that we are going to have a, a member of this particular family because we cannot come here uh, and indicate that we are going to, to do this and this and this while we don't know what is the priority in this particular family. So um, uh, the, the, the 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 committee is going to sit with a member of the family and they are going to indicate uh, that what is their priority then we are going to take it from there okay all right thank you that was MEC for community safety but i just want to talk to the regional anc secretary in the province uh, MEC mashilo you spoke you spoke about another case of a girl that was uh, raped on her way on his on her way from school to home that uh, the children in the community went out looking for her and they found her body what is your 
uh, your constituency doing in terms of crime and talking to your people, the community in the area? Well, it's regrettable. All these things are done by human beings, are done by the people, are done by ourselves. We can have many police, obviously not able to capture this, except we talk to the community as such, that as communities, let's come to our sense, let's come to Ubuntu, let's come to our mind, that we are indeed a living being, who have been given this world by God, we must protect our kids, we must protect our girls in particular. It's quite sad. A girl from school got abducted, raped and got killed. And unfortunately the kids went out in the morning to look after the girl. They found the girl killed, quite traumatized, it's quite sad. And we've since asked that community of that ward 15, Dr. Jess Moroga, that we need to have a big meeting with them as the ANC will go there to work with the family, to work with the, uh, the branch of the ANC, to work with the community and with the police as well to keep all these barbaric actions done by our society. It's quite sad and quite embarrassing. Okay, that was uh, the, the regional chairperson of the ANC in the province. And with that, it's back to you in studio. So much to our reporter out in Pumalanga, Spongile Mkani Mpolweni, with the latest on uh, those children's bodies that were found in this week. Madam, come through. Let's quickly find out what the sports go